MTD Network are in Dunstable where we're visiting sub-CNC Precision. We're meeting George and Jan who are a great example of investment not only in machines but also investing in their people. So let's go and have a chat with them. Jan, George, thanks for having us along. What I'd like to do first is get some background on the company. I said it's a great example of investment in machines and people. So what have you been, how have you done it? What have you actually done? So as we said, we were established in 2008. Actually, this week is our seven year anniversary. So I thought you might have brought some champagne down or something, Colin. It's <laughs> just chilling in the car. <laughs> great stuff. Um, yeah, as you can see behind me, we've invested in all the most state of the art equipment. Um, yeah. None of our machines are older than four years old. So we benefit from uh, the machines being quicker, uh, multi-axis machinery. So yeah. what we specialize in is uh, one hit machining. Okay. And looks sliding head, is that right? Sliding head and fixed head, but our core business is sliding head. Okay. And um, in terms of the components and any speciality there or, and industries? Industries, a wide range of industries really. Uh, components, all sorts of materials from uh, difficult to machine stainlesses, uh, bronze, aluminiums, uh, anything really that comes through the doors to be honest. I think sounds key to it is efficiencies in investment in terms of 24-7 machining. Yeah, very much so. We, we try and run lights out. Uh, if you come in over the weekend, everything will be running as well. Um, that's a cost saving that we can pass on to the customers as well. Yeah. I think that's another key, key investment side of things is the automation really in that 24-7. Yeah, very much so. I mean, we've got CCTV as well. If any of the machines alarm out, um, we're notified ourselves, uh, something that our, our wives really appreciate. <laughs> well, moving on swiftly about that. Now, George, I know you're chomping at the bit there. Yeah, yeah, sure. Tell us about, about some of these components you've got here. Okay, so we've already explained that we're sliding head and fixed head, but yep. the other key area for us is uh, live tooling. Right. So the ability to take raw materials, turn it into a finished component on the machine. No deburring ops, no stepping ops, no passing it to a mill. Um, that's critical for us, really, because yep. it saves on setups. Um, it saves work in progress and also orientation between features. If you've got a couple of features on, on a block, angular tolerances, you can hold all of that on the bar stock. Uh, a couple of these parts here we've uh, machined out of rounds, previously subcontracted onto a milling machine. Um, we've already got the work, so why not try it on a bar? We've got live tooling on every machine, so it's an option to us. So this is a 316 stainless steel. Uh, this could have been put on a milling machine, but We've got um, helix milling features, again, on all of the machines. So I've got simple drilled holes, but I've also got a helix on here, fully deburred, with total orientation uh, tied up okay. and good to go. Okay. Uh, sorry, th this part here, Colin. Yeah, I'll look. This is a... Once you get in there, don't you? You can see that part. That. That, no, that's right, that part was just winking at you, wasn't it? This is a, a medical part. It's um, uh, a medical part. We helped develop the, this feature here. So it's, again, it's machine complete in one up on our fixed head machine. Um, you, can, you can see these in uh, hospitals, airports. This is uh, quite a famous component. It became famous on Dragon's Den. Oh, okay. So uh, we, we got the contract to manufacture them in the end. So mm. nice part of that. So I got to look up on Dragon's Den what it actually... Yeah, yeah. Oh. yeah version uh, 1.3 that one, because we had to develop it for quite a while, but I've got there yet. Okay, uh, just a short video, gentlemen. I think just a great example of where you've invested in people and invested in machinery to take the business from, well, I called it a cow shed, but you told me off for that. Converted barn, I think you'll find. Probably. Yeah, we know it's a cow shed, converted barn then, I'd say. But moved on from that to where you are now, which is absolutely fantastic success yeah. story. Gentlemen, thank you very much. Thank you, cheers.